Hello, my name is Dr. Stephen Mandy, and I am a dermatologist associated with South Beach Dermatology in Miami Beach, Florida. Let's talk about diagnosing rashes by symptoms. There are many, many symptoms associated with rashes that give a clue as to their origin. For instance, if you have a child and they have a high fever, a sore throat, and a runny nose, and they have a fine uh, rash over the most of their trunk, uh, this is usually associated with a virus. So we call that a viral exanthem. Viral exanthems uh, usually clear over three to five days as the symptoms of the cold go along with it. Uh, there are certain that are more specific, such as uh, slap cheek disease, which occurs in children as a Coxsackie virus. There are many other viral infections that give specific rashes that would take an expert to really diagnose which one was which. There are many other rashes that a patient can diagnose. For instance, rashes that occur related to nickel allergy in metals. Uh, many women have problems with certain earrings, with certain rings, with certain bracelets or watches. This is a sign of an allergy to metal. And generally speaking, removing the offending item uh, and avoiding those items will help to prevent a rash of that nature. Again, there are many other rashes that an individual can have that become a little more confusing and elusive and may even, in fact, be an enigma to a dermatologist without using uh, a skin biopsy or some other blood test or investigative way to determine a rash. But many times rashes are very obvious if the patient sits and thinks about it. For instance, it's in women, very commonly we see rashes around the eyes and that's usually due to makeup uh, and some form of cosmetic. But it, it oftentimes, it does not seem obvious to a patient. They will just complain about itchy eyes and never associate it with some particular product they're using. 